Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro. We are here with TJ and as the poll suggests, we are going to be asking for a trade in pretty overwhelming fashion. There was also a considerable amount of people that wanted me to stay in Edmonton because our roster does look pretty disgusting. You know, on paper, we are a really good team, but we've been here for what seems like a little bit too long now. The team's doing good. We are fifth in the league, but hey, the poll says what the poll says. I sort of left the poll mysterious as well because I didn't want any suspicion that the series was going to continue. And here we are. <laughs> I'm still not fully sure what I want to do after this. If I want to do a player, be a pro, start a different goalie, be a pro, maybe not really do anything, kind of just have two videos a week. I have no idea what my plan is. But I'm not going to be Brett Favre and continuously fake retire. Next time I say it's the final season, or the final episode, it is the final season or episode. So if this goes anything like last time, then the people that want me to stay in Edmonton might succeed. I might stay here, but I have to request, and I do see that persuasion success is very convincing, which means I believe there's a high chance of green. But let's go ahead and persuade anyway. Yeah, there we go. We're being traded and I wanna go to a team Trying to win the Stanley Cup. Can you send me to a specific division? Hmm. I think I want to go to a Stanley Cup contender. Why would I not? I just hope it's someone in the East. Because I could pick neutral, pick a division. But then, what if we're just terrible? So there's no point. I'm going to try to just go to a different team that is in the hunt for the Stanley Cup. Now you just know that the Edmonton Oilers are gonna be the Stanley Cup champions this year. So I'm not gonna waste any time playing with Edmonton. I'm gonna sim until we are officially traded. All right, one goal on 10 shots, not too bad. Nice. Ooh, good third period. Sim to next game. Every day is a possibility now. Oh, here we go, trade alert, the Edmonton Oilers. I don't wanna see, oh wait. <laughs> All right, well, we are in Colorado, baby. I wonder how different their team looks. Okay, so we're still in the West. I was going to try to get traded to the East, but then I realized that I want to be on a team that's going for the Stanley Cup. So I think I'm just going to go with the team answer here. Neutral. And I will be on a plane and out of Edmonton immediately. We have landed in the Mile High City and they are 23-7-3. Holy crap. All right. They are definitely a Stanley Cup team. Contender, at least. Timothy, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Colorado Avalanche. We are excited for you to join the team. Well, let me tell you something. I am excited to be here. I don't know if that's even what that said. I didn't read it. I just went with the team answer. Diplomatic? Okay. That's what we're counting on. Guess he liked it. Cool. Well, now we need an equipment overhaul. I wonder if Rantanen, McKinnon, McCarr, any of them are even still here. It looks like we get our number, which is beautiful. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. No, I'm kidding. This one's pretty good, but I don't know. There's just something about the blue that's kind of throwing me off. This one's very simple, but elegant, if you will. <laughs> so basically we're going with mask one. Boom. All right, let's rock. They only have warrior. Are you kidding me? Whatever. We'll go with that. The true one is all right. It's sort of plain though. I guess it does match the helmet. What about this one? Oh, we're going like Marc-Andre Fleury. That is interesting to say the least. I kind of don't mind this Vaughn one, but you know what? I think I'm going to have to rock the true, which means I got to do that for all of the pieces of equipment. There you go, the tried and true blocker. And now we need to go pads or mini wheats, if you will, down to the abs and we're going true. Boom, there it is. All right, so this is gonna be our setup for now. It's pretty simple looking, but I'm down. And I know you guys are dying to see it. So we will look at the roster, find out what makes up the Colorado Avalanche and why they're doing so good. View lines, moment of truth. They have Landeskog still. Am I missing something? The Edmonton Oilers were way better on paper. But anyway, we have Landy playing with Newhook and Turbo, Hartman, Kopp, and O'Reilly, Hayes, Rasmussen. What is this? Defensively? What? Well, I don't know why 
Colorado is succeeding, but they are. And this will be our first game as an Av against the Boston Bruins. We are at TD Garden. Let's hope it's a good one. First period. Not a great start. Eight shots, two goals. All right, so they have three goals on 15 shots, but it is tied going into the third period. Hopefully we get a lot of shots. Zachary Slater with all those abilities. I don't remember seeing him anywhere. I bet you it's the Brad Lambert thing where they're just scratching this guy for no reason. Nice pass. Well, I never. Look at this team go. That is a spicy way to start the third period. We're up by one. I think that even in the playoffs this year, we're going to stick to the third period format because, yeah, as I mentioned last video and... Some of the comments were saying it just doesn't really seem to give the best scores when you play the full game. Our team got, I think it was one goal in three games in the Stanley Cup final, which is unacceptable. See you later, Tuggy. Who? I'm not even joking. I went to say Tucky and I just a part of my anatomy gave up. I don't know what it was, but it decided that I wasn't going to pronounce his name right. Team play? Over to you. Oh, that was a bad pass. But he makes it work. Maybe the Edmonton Oilers just had a no goalie pull policy. And now that we're in Colorado, if we're down by one, they'll call us to the bench. Just maybe. Back that way. Let's go here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tucky goes back to McAvoy, tries to rip one, but won't be able to get it through. Our defending player, Hartman, tries to pass it. Ooh, it finds its way to Nelson, and we almost score again. So close. Could have got the insurance marker. A broken twig. Unreal. Nice passing and just missing the net. The goalie might have had it with his glove if it was on net, but, you know, who cares? What a save! I thought for sure Newhook was getting the hattie. Was ready to see some lids tossed on the ice. And unfortunately, the goalie robbed him of that. What a save! In the mitt, passed that out. When I didn't even see if our player was there or not. He could have been in the corner, injured. Just got destroyed by a big hit. Sent it out anyway, and it, look at that. It sure did work. Rasmussen buries it in the slot. And now it is a 5-3 hockey game, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. They have Brock Besser as well. So they have Brock Besser, Sebastian Ajo, they still have Charlie McAvoy. Through a crowd, eh? I... yeah. My finger twitched. I wanted to pass it out so bad. Even though I was quite confident that nothing good could have come from that. There was two Bruins players in my personal bubble. And then I think there was also two Avs there, but, you know. Normally when you pass the puck out, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Let's go, big hit. Or back off. Whatever you're feeling. Ooh, that was almost a big hit. But Reedy got the puck deep. Goes in. They have Troy Terry too? <laughs> what does their team look like? Weren't they doing bad as well? They were in the 20s? Low 20s, if I remember correctly, in the standings? Oh dear. We got a minute 57 to go, and we are going to be a man down. Alex Newhook, who almost had a hat trick, is now moving his stick through glass. Gonna just ignore that, or... I don't think the Bruins have had enough shots in this third period because they needed 15 to get me to a 900 save percentage. But again, I don't really care about that anymore. I'll bring it up and mention it, but at the end of the day, as long as we're winning, don't care. Net is empty. It's a 6 on 4, and they almost coughed it up just inside their blue line. Seb gets dropped. And now Petrov with it. Goes for a little one-touch deek. The computers do love that. My positioning was horrendous. But our players were in the way. Cop buries the empty netter. Right down the middle. It is a 6-3 hockey game. And I think it's safe to say that the Colorado Avalanche take a dub with their first TJ netminding appearance. The Bruins aren't giving up though. They want one more. And the Avs aren't going to give it to them. Puck is sent down the ice. That should expire the time and give us a 6-3 victory in TD Garden. Absolutely beautiful. A shutout in the third period. 
Great stuff. Yeah, they only had four shots in that third period. Some of them were... Actually, no, all four of those shots were pretty threatening. So, I'm just happy that none of them went in the net. And we still get all green. Wonderful. Save percentage. Kind of gross. But, uh, you know, coach is happy. Conversation. And with tonight's win, you hold the record for most wins in a season by a rookie goalie. I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, you know what I just realized too? This should be the final year of our contract. Definitely. Because I thought last year was, and it wasn't. So it has to be this year. Meaning, in the offseason, we can sign with an East team. Hopefully. I also apparently got injured. I don't know when that happened, but... Okie dokie. Let's go with the diplomatic answer. We need to talk about how you've been playing. What do you mean? I've played one game and we won. It is time to take on the Arizona Coyotes. We are no longer injured, so that didn't last very long. We are still yet to play a game in Colorado. I'm going to play one more in this video and then we will sim up to right before the trade deadline. So the deadline will take place in... Episode number 36, I think. Maybe 37? I've lost count, to be honest. Regardless, we will play one home game. So, I'll play this one in Arizona. Obviously, depending on what the situation is for the third period. one nothing. Nah, we'll just sim this one. Alright, there we go. I already lost the challenge. Unless, mm, we could get a shutout, I guess, next game, because I said I'd let in four goals maximum over the next two games. And that empty netter, don't know if that counts or not. Landy practicing without a stick, classic. Yeah, let's go see the Grand Canyon, why not? They really have to give an option for turning down the amount of meetings that pop up on my screen and interrupt the flow of things. I've had it. Side note. When did I get a shutout? Not a rookie. Don't have any thoughts. Maybe this game at MSG will be worth jumping into. We are now second in the league. That's the TJ effect for you. First period, one nothing. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we just have a good third period. And now, obviously, we're gonna have to have a meeting with the coach after this, where he's gonna... Rip me a new one. All right, let's try to see if the Rangers have any original players here. Adam Fox has the puck, so we're off to a good start here. Shifley, absolutely not. Here we go, Dante Fabro. Goes back to the other defender, Byram, who loses it. Fox blazing down the ice. This guy's quick. Tries to wind up a Clappy as well. Doesn't work out. Apparently smothering the puck is one of the world's most difficult tasks when you're TJ. Mangiapane tries to go for the short side shot, and he almost got it. Wow. That would have been a snipe and a half. At least give me the team play. There you go. If nothing else, I am a wonderful team player. At least according to the coach grades. Probably should scrap. Have our first scrap in an avalanche jersey. Let's do that now. Oh no. Bad idea. I committed though. And here it is. Our first goalie fight. Mackenzie Blackwood. TJ. He's gonna connect early. Okay. Oh, he don't. No, I can't. It can't be like. I can't lose my first fight, Mackenzie. All right? That's not allowed. What happened? When did they become elite? All right, this is scary now. That had me terrified. I can't lie. Nice passing. Ooh. And it does result in a goal. O'Reilly gets his own rebound. We're within one here. Anything is possible. Let's go, Severson. Nice. Ooh. Good idea. But the goalie made a tremendous save. Let's go, Rory. Get another one. So, was that just a miscommunication or what's what's going on there? Filipino goes back to CC. He's able to walk in. He also tries to block her side. Like, have people been watching tape? Am I really bad on the blocker side or something? I feel like that's where everybody has been going. The Rangers do have quite a few players. They have Hedl, they have Zabinajad, Fox. Big save. Let's go, Hayes. Nice pass. Okay. Walker just got teed up. What a save! Yeah, right. He must be upset about that fight, L. Because... I feel like their goalie 
has made some impeccable stops post Tilly. I don't know who that pass was supposed to go to. Not a fan of it though. Let's go 1-3. Tries to one-touch Deke, a true classic. Landy's in. Goes for a pass in the middle. But the Rangers really clogged it up and here comes Mika. Alright, let's go. I am go What happened there? Okay, so the clock is starting to turn into our enemy. I just got embarrassed by Mika's advantage ad, so I don't think we're getting two goals. Probably taking an L here. Really hoping that our first and only home game in this video goes well, because we need it. Has not been an incredible showing from Timothy Jimothy just yet. Also, looking at the roster of this team, I feel like somehow they were just getting lucky and winning a lot of games. And we're probably going to fall off pretty hard. But also, knowing the way this game works, we may end up making some crazy trade deadline trades. I can't even score. Because... We already fought. I suppose it is possible that at the deadline we make some acquisitions. And beef up the roster a little more. Nice save. Filipinos got it. Tries to get past two defenders at once. Didn't work, but still gets the puck back. And have to make a big save. I slid way too far there. Two seconds. CC rips one. And that's going to do it. The Rangers dummy us. What's going on? Is this the longest road trip of all time or what? Also, James, shh. I'm going to sim this game against Pittsburgh. No matter what, it could be a tie going into the third. I don't care. The game is done. Wonderful performance. Thank you. We're up against the St. Louis Blues. And we have the home ice advantage, finally. Yeah, yeah, I know. Go on. Tell me I'm a failure. Here we go. Our first game on home ice. Against the St. Louis Blues. Unless maybe I already simmed one and I'm just going crazy. Comments probably already yelling at me about that. But uh, first period, great start. Second, could have been better. All right, it's time for the final game of this episode. Before we sim all the way up to the trade deadline, I'm obviously going to go look at the standings to see where Edmonton is. Want to see where we sit at that point too, believe it or not. I'm trying to remember who the backup in Edmonton was. It was Carell? Was it Karel? A Fenisankov sent in. That's going to be an easy save. I don't know what you were thinking there. Maybe he's just trying to go the old five hole, but didn't work out. And here come the abs. The one touch deke. You love it. I like the idea. The pass was there. Defender just took it away last second. Fabro. Download a new hook. Look at this passing play. Okay, that one was a little bit slow, but I'll allow it. Backdoor. No! Never mind, it still worked. Landis Cog picks it up in front of the net, goes forehand, and we have the lead. It is three to two. Let's have a look at the replay here, shall we? Come on. Why not? Pass was interrupted by Ethan, who then coughs it up right in front of the net. That's a good goal. The Blues are not a fan. They do not like the fact we have the lead. I mean, obviously. I don't know why they'd be like, yeah. That's amazing, unless there's a really good first overall pick this year. But with their record, I don't think they're really in the running for that right now. Let's get one more, just for fun. There you go. Bo Byram takes a shot, but Dostal sees it through the crowd. And here come the St. Louis Blues. Bear trying to make up for the goal that he gave up earlier. Rips one, and that will be saved by TJ. So far, so good in this third. Hayes with it. Look at the passing. Our team is just great at knowing where each other are. Maybe they've just had this team together forever. And the chemistry has just built up to a point that even though, you know, like 83 overall is our best player, it still works. Let's get one more. I think that's a good idea, personally. Almost. Win that draw to 8-7. Just like that. That has to be one of the luckiest saves I've ever seen. His right mini wheat was off the ice. And somehow it just managed to hit a little tiny section on the angle that stopped it from going in. Ridiculous. Not going to stop that one from going in though. Landis Cog. I thought this was just the shot that went in, but apparently not. Maybe... 
He kind of just tipped it in front. A little tap in. I need to see a replay here. Yeah, so the passing is ridiculous. Oh, no, that was... <laughs> to be fair, it would have gone in without the tip. But I'll take it. And with that comes a two-goal lead for your Colorado Avalanche. Seven minutes to go. We're playing very well in this game. So I want to confidently say we're getting a dub in our first home ice appearance. I think our first home ice appearance. Because it's got me thinking now. I did sim a few games, I think. Maybe a couple where the result wasn't really looking good in the third period. So I was like, eh, might as well not play this one. Maybe we were home one of those games. But you know what? This is our first home game to me. Afenisenkov. Let's one go. I'm passing it out. As I do. Oh, that is what cost me a Stanley Cup? Yeah, I'm still gonna do it. It wouldn't have costed me the Stanley Cup if Darnell Nurse just got rid of it. Clean draw win by New Hook. That will be blocked. Let's get one more. The Blues will pull their goalie soon. So, you know, getting one more goal shouldn't be that tall of a task. Barbashev's in. That is saved. I can't skate with it, otherwise I would. I do want to try scoring a goal. We got to get at least one in our career. You know what I'm saying? What a hit on Buchnevich. That was massive. He's down for the count too. O'Reilly has it. Along the boards. He's going to get leveled. Turbo goes for the shot. Just misses the net. 20 seconds to go. I still want us to get that third goal of this period. But if we don't, not the end of the world. Barbashev in the middle. That will be blocker to side. Foodie with it. Behind the net. Passing it out front now. Tries to walk into the middle. The defense simply not allowing it. We didn't get another goal, but it's all right. Solid 4-2 W in Colorado. We needed that to finish the video episode, I guess. I don't know. And they had 29 shots. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed. A solid end. You know? Who cares what happened in the first two games? It's all about how you end. I can only imagine how many conversations I am going to endure in my journey to sim up to the trade deadline. Yeah, I'll go, I guess. Like, can I just set a default answer where I just say, yeah, I'm in. We're back to first in the league. I'm going to the calendar though. Simming up to right before trades are no longer allowed. So I'll go here, simulate, and here comes a flurry of meetings. There you go. Three losses in a row. Still first in the division somehow. Four losses in a row. Finally, a win. 3-1 over the Lightning. Knock it off with the promises already. The Goalie Be a Pro is one of the staples of this channel. We've been doing it every year for like five years, I would say. Maybe even more. If they don't give me the option to turn off meetings and shut James up next year... I don't know. I mean, I'll probably still do the goalie be a pro, but I will be upset. All right, sure. Let's go to the art museum and hey, Gabriel, for any future events, let's not talk. Just assume I'm going. The Dallas Stars have really taken over the division. 86 points. Here we go. And we're still talking about the Calder. Very impressive. One more game. Please no meetings. Thank you. I feel like we've been losing a lot of games, but somehow we're still third in the league. I don't know how we've managed to pull that off, but let's go to the stats. Have a look at everything. So Turbo has 61 points. We'll look at individual stats first in 62 games. Nice. He's almost point a game. Landy with 57. O'Reilly 54. A bit of a drop off here to cop. Net minding. Probably not going to be great. Yeah, 905. And then we have Stewie and... Oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> Stewie. That's a playoff rival. All right, let's look at some team statistics now. We are second in the Central Division with 77 points. Look how big these gaps are. It's an 11-point gap from second to first. And they have two games on us. And then it's a 9-point gap from second to third. Holy, 20 points from first to third, which is outrageous. In the entire league, the Ottawa Senators, 88 points as well. And we are here with 77, tied with the Los Angeles Kings for third in the league. The Edmonton Oilers are seventh, 35, 22, and two. So, yeah, kind of stayed about the same from when we left them, I guess. Well, thank you for watching. In the next video, we will be going over the trade deadline. Hopefully, our team makes some acquisitions for this playoff run. And hopefully, we close out the season quite well.
but we'll find out. But I appreciate you. Thank you for your continued support on this series, and I will see you soon.